Jean Merrill Dedge was an American illustrator, animator, comics artist and film director. Based in Prague after 1959, Dedge was known for creating animated cartoons such as Munro, Tom Terrific and Nordnik as well as his work on the Poppy and Tom and Jerry series. Dedge was born in Chicago on August 8, 1924, the son of salesman Joseph Dedge and Ruth Delson Dedge. In 1929, the family moved to California and Edge attended school in Hollywood. He graduated from Los Angeles High School in 1942. After graduating, Edge began working for North American Aviation, drawing aircraft blueprints. In 1943, he was drafted and underwent pilot training before catching pneumonia and was honorably discharged in May of the following year. From 1940 to 1951, Dage contributed covers and interior art to the Jazz magazine, The Record Changer. In the 1950s, Dage was an early supporter and audio engineer for Connie Converse, one of the first American singer-songwriters. In 1955, Dage took an apprenticeship at the animation studio United Productions of America, UPA, and later became the creative director of Terry Toons creating such characters such as the Sydney, the Elephant, Gaston, the Crayon, Tom Terrific, and Clint Clover. Beginning in 1955, while working at UPA, they had wrote and drew the United Feature Syndicate comic strip, The Real Great Adventures of Terrible Thompson. And I didn't want to come here. I suddenly realized that there was a great opportunity for me here. I knew I was doing a bad thing. There was a bad thing. I'm leaving my wife. I'm leaving my three children. It had to be something really overwhelming to do something like that. I found this island of people in Bratsiv Triku. And the fact that they're, that they're going to produce Monroe and it, un, it won, you know, the first... His theoretical cartoon, Sidney's Family Tree. You know we've always wanted a baby. In August 1958, he was fired from Terry Toons and set up his own studio in New York called Teen Dates Associate INC, which primarily produced television commercials. With producer William L. Cinder, which co-produced and directed a series of TV shots and Crazy Cats for King Fishers from 1962 to 1964. The Bluffers, which was based on one of the Dates' ideas, was also co-produced by him. He directed the 1966 film Alice in Wonderland in Paris. In 1966, he worked with Czech animator Jiri Trenka on a feature-length animated film adapted of The Hobbit. The producer William L. Cinder could not secure the funds and in order to not let the rights for the novel expire, he asked Edge to produce a short film adaption in 30 days. Dutch and illustrator Adolf Bond made a 13-minute animated film. The film was long considered lost until it was rediscovered by Sanderson and released on YouTube in 2012. Also, in 1966, Dutch created a young girl adventure in the terrible Tessie. From 1969 until his retirement in 2008, Dage was the leading animation director for the ConnectiNet organization, Westernwood Studios. Adapting children picture books, Dage adapted 37 films for Westernwoods from Drama Hawk in 1969 to Voyage to the Bunny Planet in 2008. His studio was located in Prague near the Barrendow Studios where many major films were shot. In 2003, Dage was awarded the Annie Awards Windsor McKay Award by Asifa Hollywood for a lifetime contribution to the art of animation. Dage met his first wife, Mary, when they worked at North American Aviation and they married in 1943. Their three sons, Kim, Simon, and Seth Dutch, who were artists and writers for underground comics and alternative comics. Several days after arriving in Prague in October 1959, Dutch met Segna, the production manager at the studio Battery Vitrico, where he worked. They married in 1964. 
Dave's memoir, For the Love of Prague, is based on his experience of being what he called only free American living and working in Prague during 30 years of the Communist Party dictatorship. According to Dutch, although he was followed by the STB and his phone was tapped, he was aware of their presence and was never integrated nor arrested. Dutch died in Prague on April 16, 2020 at the age of 95. Shortly before his death, Dutch was being noted about intestinal problems.